hey guys, where you study is just as important as how you study. So today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of the study space and then I'm going to show you around, not my study space, but my workspace. So your study space, your revision place, the place you do your revising, the place you do your homework needs to be carefully thought about. So you need to have a desk, obviously. Please don't do things on your lap. Please don't do things sitting on the sofa on your lap. You're going to need a decent, comfortable chair. If one's not available, just pad it out with cushions. That'll be fine. But this is somewhere you're going to be sitting for a prolonged period of time so you need to make sure it's comfortable you're going to need a desk and it's going to need to be somewhere quiet now if this isn't available at home because i know loads of you have noisy noisy brothers and sisters i myself have a noisy noisy toddler um then the local library will also provide this for you now i know this is going to be a drag going down to your local library but this can really really help your revision so we need to have a desk, we need to have a chair, it needs to be somewhere quiet, somewhere that you're not going to be disturbed. Now this can be in the corner of your bedroom, but it doesn't have to be in the corner of your bedroom. It can be in the dining room, it can be on the kitchen table. If it is in the corner of your bedroom, please make sure that your TV is not on your desk. Or your computer, I mean okay, your computer is probably going to be under your desk, but make sure it's not too distracting for you. I will show you that this is why I do like, like my recording, my writing, my thinking, my computer is way over there, over the other side so that I'm not tempted to just, just go and put a music video on YouTube and then you end up actually watching the video as opposed to just listening to music. The CD play is also over there so I'm not constantly changing um, tracks the entire time. The only thing that's on my desk is my phone which I know is really bad. That I shouldn't have my phone on my desk. But anyway, where do we get it to? Right, you need a clear space, you need a comfortable chair, it needs to be quiet. It needs to have very, very few distractions, so no TV on there, and hopefully as few electronic devices as possible. You need to have um, your pens there, your pencils, everything you need needs to be ready and in place. Um, I think I'll show you around where I work and I'll explain a bit more as I go along. So you can see over there, there is the, my husband's and my desk with the computers on. And then this is my little area for working over here. So I've got my bookshelf. It has, okay, so it does have some non sciencey books in there. But for the majority of the part, the books that I'm going to need really, really quickly are here and then down here as well. Everything that I'm going to need, um, like money mods, baby wipes, because you need baby wipes for everything, um, revision guides, anything that I need quickly is all in one place. Then over here, I have, this is actually a really cute little stand just for propping things up so I can see things while I'm working. So it's got my periodic table, it's got flashcards, um, loads and loads of video flashcards on there, and then it's got my like list of things to do. Okay, so there's a little, little, little big bang theory at the back, but it's cute, it's decoration, you are allowed to have some interesting things on your desk, as long as it's not too distracting. And then I have my nice pictures because like my nice pictures. A decent desk lamp is essential. Otherwise you're just not going to be able to see what's going on. And then down here, okay, this probably isn't the best example ever, but it's nearly tidy. I've got my calculator, my pens, my pencils, my glasses. Um, okay, so there's lip gloss and nail varnish over here as well, which probably isn't going to be the most conductive thing to do in work ever, but all of the things I could ever possibly need are here. They are ready and waiting. So here is my desk. Um, yes, I know I don't have a very comfortable chair for sitting on, but I don't actually sit here um, if I'm doing loads and loads of typing or loads and loads of work. Okay guys, so your study space needs to be a desk, not on your lap. You need to have a comfortable chair. This can be padded out with cushions if you don't have like a big comfy chair, like a big desk chair. Um, it needs to be somewhere quiet. It doesn't have to be at home, this can be at the library. It needs to be free of distractions. So 
if you can study in your bedroom, if that's where your desk is, if that's going to be free of distractions, then great. But if your computer, your gaming system's in there, um, your phone's in there, consider locking yourself away in a different room. Consider locking yourself away in the kitchen, just put a big sign on the door saying, no entry, I'm busy. You might find you have to make dinner if you do that. Um, it needs to be a clear space. You need to have things that you're going to use regularly, easily accessible, so you're not getting up and down all the time trying to find loads and loads of different things. Um, and you know, there are a few little decorations here. It's an interesting, nice place to be. But those things aren't massive, massive distractions. Unless you're my two year old who thinks the fact that mummy has Lego on her desk is like the best thing ever. Anyway. Um, so this is how to like organise your study space. It is it is really, really important because if you're writing in a nice, comfortable space, you're going to be more productive. 